What's going on my boys, YT Dan back at it again with another video. Today we're gonna take a look at the upcoming forbidden and limited lists. I've got a video coming out for you guys probably later on tonight or potentially tomorrow morning. Um, seeing this video has kind of interrupted my uploading schedule, but my boys, um, keep a lookout for that. I've got some special spicy innovations that you got to see for the Valance deck, my boys. And I think that you guys are really going to like it. I'm going to be taking that deck all the way to diamond one, my boy. So if you want to catch that journey, definitely stay tuned. Now, what's really interesting um, right now, we got a new updated forbidden limited list right off the back, you know, can't even play around like I don't know what's going on, but instant fusion has been banned. That's pretty cool, you know, uh, in terms of like gameplay for Tillerman. Like this is one of their strongest non-archetypal cards, just a random win more card that is an actual um, starter for the deck. So definitely this card could stand to be banned. You know, there is no other archetype that I can think of that really uses instant fusion to the level that tier limits can. So I think, you know, this is pretty fair. Um, the, but I also always feel funny about these bands, for example, like this band is coming in right now. That means every tier limit pl player that plays instant fusion, if they get a dub off of you, it just feels a little dirty. <laughs> if that makes sense, but you know, you guys got to make sure you don't lose when you when they play instant fusion. So that is what it is. Next card uh, that we are, uh, have updated here is King of the Swamp and Foolish Burial Goods. Uh, these cards are being limited to one. So that's kind of insane. I mean, I'm not sure if there's any like a ton of decks that like run King of the Swamp. But from my understanding of how people play the tier limit deck, like King of the Swamp and Foolish Burial Goods really isn't all that important to the deck. You know, obviously Foolish Burial Goods is more to kind of facilitate that, that crystal beast uh, combo piece that they have. But outside of that, I don't really know of or, or can recollect any time I've ever seen them use that for anything else other than that. So if that's the only reason that they're running it and you know, that just might be a reason just to drop it. So, you know, drop the crystal beast thing, didn't really need that and drop King of the Swamp, you know, didn't really need that. And you know, you're all good, you know, I'm not sure what they're gonna put in to replace those things. I don't really play this deck, but you know, definitely it's pretty interesting to see that they're taking a swing at these cards, but maybe they're taking a swing at these cards for the same reason they swung at Instant Fusion. It's a non-archetypal card that will allow people to play uh, tier limits in the future and not fully like discourage people from like dropping the deck or damaging it uh, for people who just paid a lot of money on gems. Makes sense. Also, uh, semi limited, semi limited, meaning it's at two now. Change of heart, which is crazy. Change of heart is at two. You, you really think about it like cards like change of heart have been limited to one or straight up banned, uh, like snatch steel, mind control, things like that. But change of heart, you can take control of a monster, I believe it's face up or face down, and uh it can attack and you can do anything you want with it tribute exceeds link anything also if you use change of heart on um uh the tier limits deck going second you know it does turn off a lot of their cards and also one of their cards um I forget what it's called, but one of the cards require a monster to be on the field. So if you use that and you take that and that's like their only name um, and you have like another card, like a DD Crow or something to like subvert their fusions in the graveyard going forward, then, you know, you've pretty much locked the game up with just like one or two cards. So that's pretty busted. Um, but I'm not really sure, you know, like who's really going to actually play it uh, because you have cards like triple tactics talents, which is a really good card going second anyway, and you can kind of get the same thing or draw two cards going second. So, you know, uh, it, it's, it's a nice option to have if you have a deck that can just squeeze in like two change of hearts. But then again, the, the question is still begged. Why not tactics talent, you know, in its place? Um, also cards that are being put to three, 
Uh, you got Sky Striker Kagari. I don't play this deck, so I don't really care. Um, Thunder Dragon Hawk. That's kind of interesting. Um, didn't know that it was limited or restricted. Uh, Fire Formation Tinky is at three. I appreciate that. That is pretty good. <laughs> our, our, my uh, Tri Brigade deck and every other uh, Tri Brigade variant adjacent appreciates that and supreme king dragon worm is at three now i did think i think it was originally at one so since it was at one and it goes to three i mean i'm sure that's pretty helpful but i think dragon worm was the type of card that you only need to really run one of anyway uh since it was one of those cards that you use as like a, a starter combo piece or something like that so um, yeah, that's it, my boys, for this video. I appreciate you guys watching this video. <laughs> Overall, as this list goes, eh, it's pretty, eh, it's all right, it's okay. No, you know, it's not the best, not the worst, um, but I think they're just pretty much letting people know, hey, we're gonna nerf Tier Lament a little bit, but continue to spend your money and have fun. Um, I think that's what the message is from uh, this. But my boys, I appreciate y'all for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content all the time. Keep it dank.